So before we jump into the details and all the features, let's just look what the plugin gives you. So you can see I have a palette plugin and the node tree here. And over on the right, I have this palette doc. And you can see that it's able to combine regular nodes, sprites or whatever, and a tile map. So let's go into the details here. So if I delete everything, let's start from scratch. So what you want to do first is add a child node called palette. That's the custom node you'll get with the plugin. And then go over to its colors right here. Colors is just an abstract name for the things that it can paint, what goes on the palette. And then you want to drag the tile map you've made and save to a scene into the colors. Now, if you click off the palette and back on, you can see all the tiles that were part of that tile map are now being drawn here. And then next, you want to add a uh, sprite or a node or whatever. Same deal. Expand that colors array. And let's add this sprite over here, blue guy. Click off, click on, and you can see he's appeared now. So now we can draw him just like a tile map, even though he's a uh, he's a note. But there's one last thing, and it's kind of just the optimization thing. Uh, this tile won't work. You have to first add that tile manually like this tile map. Um, it's, it just makes the code easier. And now when we go back, it all works. So let's make some stuff here. Yeah, so here's a, a field or whatever with some stuff on it. And there's gonna be a bunch of blue guys on it. So I'm not gonna talk through all of the features. There's a few of them, but let's just go into some of the things that are a little bit uh, hidden. So when we place down an entity, you can control click it and that'll rotate it. Uh, if you right click, that'll erase the entity. Erasing also works a little bit different for tile maps if you want. By default, it just erases the tile map, but you can also set the tile that gets used for erase. So if I set the tile map to erase as one, it means now when I erase, it means, oh, erasing is sand. And that can help level creation really well if you're kind of just toggling between two different tiles. Um, also, we have this feature where if you double click on anything in the palette, it will open up that scene for you. It's the same for the tile map, it'll open up that tile map. Um, and you can also set uh, the brush snap to be on or off for entities, not for tiles, but well, for nodes only. And then obvious here things are like the brush size, brush overlap, which means that it won't place two nodes on top of each other, if that's on or off. And then you can adjust the icon size. Uh, yeah. So that is the plugin. Um, I left a list of things here that I can do, it's features. Um, I hope this is useful. It's not 100% polished or done or whatever, um, but I think this is definitely useful. And I, I'd love to hear people's feedback on it so we can kind of polish this up and make it. Um, something usable for everybody.